Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay and this is All Things Kay and I want to thank you so much for joining me on another video. So guys, I realize I have not done a favorites video in a long time. So I'm going to do a current beauty favorites video right now because there are some things that I keep reaching for, I keep using over and over, some new stuff that I picked up that I can't stop using and I wanted to share them with you. So if you're interested in seeing what my current favorites are, stay tuned and keep watching. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is actually not a beauty product. It's actually from Lululemon. This is my everywhere belt bag is what it's called and it's in this um, Wonder Puff material. It has a zip here at the back. My daughter bought this for me for Christmas and I love it. It's a really big size in here. Look how deep it is. My wallet's in there. It has a section here and then two separate sections here for like um, lip gloss or whatever, which I don't have in there now, but I usually do. And this is just perfect to just throw on when I'm going out, especially now with a toddler. I need my hands free. So when I put it on, this is how it looks. It is so cute. I love this pouch and it is just perfect for running around and getting stuff done and I don't I have my hands free this is definitely a favorite now let's jump into some skincare favorites let's start off with a face wash this is the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser now I'm somebody who has dry skin this is for normal to dry skin right now in the winter time my skin is so dry and I'm still someone who likes a foamy cleanser I know they say cream cleansers are better for people with dry skin but I just don't feel like it cleans my skin but this cleanser right here is is, is an amazing cleanser I love it so much before this I was using the Cetaphil. I'm still using the Cetaphil. That one's in my shower. But I like this better. And the Cetaphil is also a cream to foam, but it doesn't lather as much as the CeraVe. So this has been a favorite. This is definitely something that I'm definitely going to repurchase and I'm going to have in constant rotation. And since my favorite cleanser is so expensive, the Tatcha Rice Watch, I'll probably just buy that once a year since I found this one now and I am loving it but yeah if you have normal to dry skin and are looking for a new cleanser um the CeraVe ones are really nice now like I said it's winter time I have dry skin there is this line from fresh that has me in a choke hole so that is the rose deep hydration facial line so this is the facial toner I picked this up over the holidays when they had like 30 percent off fresh it came in a um gift set and it came with this serum these two together oh, hydration 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 so this is the toner with fruit extract and hyaluronic acid removes impurities and softens so i wash my face and i go in with this first put this on if feels nice on my face I love it then this is the rose deep hydration oil infused serum and as you can see the oil is at the top so you really got to give it a nice shake and this is a balancing and hydration and nourishment serum <sighs> if you could only get one because this is quite pricey get this one this one is amazing highly recommend it if you have normal to dry skin or dehydrated combo skin this is nice put it on at night before your moisturizer and you'll see your skin feels so nice so plump but these two together I just I just love it oh and then I have the fresh rose instant hydration mist this one refreshes and refines looks of pores with the mask rose extract it's all rose but this one you it, it's such a nice light mist oh, and it's so nice you could put this on at any time look at this glow that it's giving me and it's so fine and oh, love I just love this whole line I love the moisturizer if you watched my empties video you'll see how much of those moisturizers I went through I love that moisturizer but this whole line has me has me like I just love the whole line all right the next product is from glow recipe and it's a hundred point perk this is the guava vitamin c bright eye gel cream 
you guys you see how i squeezed everything out of this i love this this i've been using for well over a month well over a month because you just need the tiniest amount and the tube that it comes in you can just squeeze out exactly what you need and that's it i have about i still have a little bit in here that i am squeezing out but i have to pick this up however i've been reading the reviews and the packaging that it comes in in the full size a lot of people don't like because they say you can't get all the product out which is kind of irritating i wish they had it in this packaging because it's perfect for an eye cream all eye creams should come in something like this it shouldn't come in the pumps where you can't get every product out but every bit of the product out so that's kind of deterring me but the product the, the formula works so well so i'm going to buy it and see how much of an inconvenience it is and then see where i go from there because i really feel that this has brightened up under my eyes um and hydrates now it's not a really hydrating um under eye cream it's definitely a brightening cream and it's a gel cream it does give a little bit of moisture but i've had more moisturizing eye cream but they don't do anything else but moisturize at least this is giving me a little bit of lightening under my eyes so highly recommend it now for sunscreen i picked up the keys soul care daily moisturizer broad spectrum spf 30. i really like this i've been using this for the past couple of weeks it comes out white but it does not leave a white cast and it is so hydrating now it's not as hydrating as my glow recipe everyday play um, sunscreen and that's an SPF 50 but this one is still hydrating it's still nice it absorbs into the skin uh, but it's a really nice sunscreen and it doesn't leave a white cast now now for fragrances You guys will not be surprised if you've watched any of my last videos. You guys know what I picked up lately and I love them all you guys know like I say I'm in my cherry girl era and this is that seven virtues um, Travel size. This is the cherry ambition. I picked this up in November at the one of the at the sale right I think I picked it up then y'all you see that this you see you guys can see this is where it's at already right there like more than halfway done so you know I'm gonna have to pick up a big bottle of this I I love this for this time of year it is so cozy it is so warm it is so sweet it's it's just a lovely lovely cherry fragrance and of course I can't leave out my Kaylee love fest burning cherry I wear one of these like at least three times a week and I have a good amount of fragrance but I wear a cherry scent at least three times a week between the two I'm slowing down on this one okay I'm slowing down on it so <laughs> now that I have the bigger size of the um, burning cherry I don't know which one I like better I like I like both of them so definitely definitely a current favorite and one more fragrance that I got I think I got this in November also this is by Burberry this is Burberry goddess look there's already a dent in there this is the a vanilla lover's dream I love this I've worn I think I wore this for Christmas I wore this for New Year's I've worn it for a couple outings in January. These three fragrances are on constant rotation. I love them. I have to put them down and give some of the other fragrances in my collection some love because these, yeah, these are current favorites for this season. Okay, before right. we jump into makeup, I want to shout out this tool so this is the pat mcgrath and this is the highlighting brush i think it's the skin fetish sublime perfecting highlighting brush this is what it looks like i do not use it as a highlighting brush i use it as a concealer bl brush this blends out concealer in like one swoop it is so soft it fits under the eye perfectly i've been using this instead of a beauty blender for my concealer lately and it's a game changer it just is perfect fit under the eyes 
They have a smaller one to this that's a concealer brush, but I'm telling you, it's the size of your pinky. You'd be under there forever, tap, 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 tap. I ain't got time for that. I just wanna quickly blend out the concealer and it gives a flawless finish. I don't want that little concealer brush that she has. It's the same shape as this, but way, way smaller. And it's like 50 bucks for this little thing that's the size of your pinky finger. No way. This is pretty pricey too, but Pat McGrath always has sales. So if you're looking for an under eye concealer brush, this, highly recommend. It's a favorite. Love it. I have one pair of lashes. This is from the Sephora collection. I think I put them in upside down, but this is the Essentials False Lashes in the Style Daring. Love this. I need like six or seven pairs of these because this is my favorite lash. Every time I do my eye makeup, I want to put on this lash. Currently, I have on from the same collection, but this is the style Swanky. I like it, but not as much as Daring. It's more, it's longer and wispier, and it just makes my eyes just look wider and more open. Love this. Definitely a favorite. Okay, now let's jump into my current makeup favorites. Y'all, y'all knew that these were gonna be in it because you've seen me wear them and uh, I love them. So this is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick and I'm in the shade 9.5. I also have the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte Foundation and that's also in 9.5 Warm Almond. These on the skin look so good. They wear so nicely. I must say, I think I like the soft matte foundation over the stick. The stick I like, but this one, I feel like the match is a little bit better. Even though they're the same, sh same shade, this one matches me a little bit better. This one's a little warm. So I feel like this is gonna work well when I start to get darker in the summer because it, it kind of warms up on the skin and slightly, it kind of slightly oxidized where this is my complexion now. At first it looks a little bit warm, but once it settles, it is my complexion. Love both of these formulas. The hype around these were real, they're expensive. <laughs> I'm not sure if they were still on sale. I got these for like at least 50% off. And I think this one I got for 50% off plus 20% off sale. So I got this for a steal and I'm happy I picked it up. They're current favorites. I love wearing these foundations. I have to, I had to put them down and wear other stuff in my collection. I'm wearing something I haven't worn in a while in my collection because I'm like, you're not putting this on again, Kay. You are <laughs> wearing something else. So Love these, current favorite, highly recommend them. Now for lips, I got a few products. The Fenty Plush Pudding Intense Recovery Mask, this one here. Y'all, this is better than Laneige Sleeping Night Mask. I'm telling you that right now. This is way better, way more moisturizing. I put this on in the night and I still wake up with it on in the morning. I, I love it, I love it. I wear it in the night, I wear it in the day. This, I have two of them. <laughs> one on my bed, one in my bathroom. I need this all the time. This is definitely an amazing mask and in my opinion, better than the Laneige sleeping mask. Another lip product is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and this is in vanilla beige. This usually is in my Lululemon belt bag. I use this all the time. Love the formula, but why are they so expensive? Because I want multiple of them now because this formula is amazing. I'm gonna have to pick some up at a sale, but love it. The hype around these is real. It's so hydrating. Any cold weather, I'm outside, lips are chapped. This is a lifesaver and I love that this one is vanilla beige, so it's a light brown color. Love it. Definitely want to pick up more of them and it's a current favorite. These right here, these are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I have a couple of the Juicy juicy Lips and a couple of the Juicy Lip Plumps. Love these. I love the tingling feeling from the Juicy Lip Plumps. It's like a minty feeling, nothing burning or anything like that. Love the colors, love the shades. I have a couple colors here. I have Rosy Copper with the Shimmer, 
cherry blossom, fig, ginger, cranberry. I have so much colors of these <laughs> and I love the formula. I love both the Juicy Lip and the Juicy Lip Plump. Those are my two favorite formulas. I do have the Shift, one of the Shifts. It's okay, but these these two formulas from Tarte, yeah, they're soft. If you if you push it up too much, you'll get too much out and it kind of gets messy and mushy, but it makes your lips look so nice and plump and juicy. I'm willing to work with the formula for that, for just for that effect. Love these. Let's get into these palettes. So the first thing I want to talk about what I'm wearing on my eyes, and I've been wearing this for the past couple of months on and off. This is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This is a neutral palette. I had this for a while and I wasn't using it. So I shot my stash and I've been using this for all of January and most of February. Like I said, it's what's on my eyes right now. This is a staple neutral palette. Staple neutral palette. I love the shades in here. Love the formulas. To the point now, I'm thinking I want the... I need a nude and the glam palette. Like, <laughs> I love the formula in here and I understand the I need a nude has a like a glass like shimmer formula in it and I love shimmers. So busting this out makes me feel like I need those neutral palettes to add to my collection. But this is definitely a current favorite. <laughs> Another eyeshadow palette that I've been using like crazy since I bought it and I picked this up at the sale is the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette. This is another neutral lover's dream. It's more on the cooler. Well, this side is more cooler. There's still some warmth to it, but that's how I like my palettes. If it's a cool palette, I like them to have a little hint of warmth so I can warm up the look if I need to. This is what I wore for New Year's Eve because I love these silvers in here and my look came out so beautiful. You can do a quick one and done shade, which I don't do, <laughs> but I just love this. I like this better than the Empowered palette actually, which is weird because I thought I would like the Empowered palette more because it's more warm, but this one, so far out of Huda's palettes, I think the Naughty Nudes was my is my favorite and then this is my second favorite, love this palette. Okay, the last eyeshadow palette that I wanna talk about is Pat McGrath Sunlit Seduction. Um, I picked this up on one of her sales over the holidays and I've been using it ever since. These three palettes that I just told you about, the Biba, the, the Natasha Nona Biba, the Pretty Grunge, and this palette right here, I have not put them down since probably December. I've been using them. They're definitely a current favorite. I know this color story is same old, same old, but the looks still come out pretty. I mean, it's not like her color stories don't make your looks come out pretty. It's just that you could probably get the same look in multiple palettes, but I don't know. There's something about Pat McGrath motherships that I love. I wish she would change these back. I'm always gonna complain about it. I wish she would change these back to that gelée astral real astral formula because these are different these are not the same they're still sparkly and beautiful but that's my only complaint um but every time i wear this palette my look comes out gorgeous and it's definitely a current favorite i really have to rotate through my collection play with some of her other motherships i would like to do a mothership ranking but that's kind of stressful to me, so I'm not there yet. But yeah, I need to switch out these palettes and rotate through them because I've just been going to them for... Every time I need to wear makeup, I'm going to these palettes. It just is what it is. Now, for face palette, if you guys have watched my videos lately, you know that this was going to be my current favorite. Okay, the Natasha Denona Berry Pop Cheat Trio. This is the blush and highlighter palette right here. You guys, if you haven't checked out my Valentine's Day look, you guys need to check it out. This, love. Love. I wanted to put this on today and I had to force myself to put it down. 
because I love the formula, I love the colors. This is my favorite Natasha Denona face palette. It really caught my eye from the jump and I have one other one that's not a favorite. This is gonna be hard to beat. I love this shade right here. This formula, this is a tinted glow cream base. This gives you the most beautiful glass-like glow to your skin. Love it, love it. This is a beautiful shade on women of color. If you're light, light, lighter skin, you need to go in very lightly with this, but it is so beautiful and the highlighter is really nice. Love, I'm done talking. Love this palette. All right guys, so that is it. Those are my current favorite products. Let me know what you guys think of the video and let me know what your current favorites are. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified at every single upload. And until next time, bye guys.